What is up guys? Welcome back. Today is Friday. It's Hannah's birthday. She took off work and all she wanted to do was take the mousetrap to a, a local pizza joint here called Speakeasy. This car has been fighting me for two days. Uh, <laughs> I took it on a test drive. It did decent, but we... It, we had some issues yeah. or he had some issues. I was at work. It came, uh, it had an oil leak. So I've been fighting this oil leak and I'm gonna take you guys along of the oil leak situation and in these next few clips. It is Thursday night. It is 11 o'clock at night. Here's the mouse trap. The turbo is missing. The turbo is missing is because I decided to take it on a test drive. Today is Thursday, Friday is Hannah's birthday. And all she asked for her birthday was to drive the mouse trap to the local pizza joint that is about 30 minutes down the road. Well, it's probably 15 minutes down the road. So 30 minute round trip. That's all she wants to do for her birthday is to drive the mouse trap. So I test drove it today around uh, about six o'clock. I drove it and I drove it to Bedford, which is about 15 minutes north. And the, the car did really good. Uh, I only went 30 miles per hour because I was nervous just trying to fill the car out and how it was going to do on the way back got up to 50 55 the car did good it couldn't just stay good uh, the whole windshield got covered in oil the roof of the car is covered in oil I got it all cleaned off there now but the turbo is leaking on the air side and the exhaust side I decided I would rebuild the turbo tonight because like I said, that's all she wants to do is drive this car. And she knows that we're having issues with the car right now. And she said, hey, it's fine. We'll just, just take me to speak easy, pizza, and that's good enough. I said, no, we are taking the car. So I decided I'd rebuild the turbo. Well, I broke that stud off. I decided I was gonna pull it apart and rebuild it. And uh, yeah, I broke. That is an HX35 off of Dodge Cummins, and luckily I have a Dodge Cummins set in here in the corner off of, or I don't know, it's just a spare engine I got laying around. I'm gonna rob the turbo off this truck, or off this motor, and put it on the mouse trap, and try to reseal everything, and hopefully we don't have an oil leak, and uh, just basically put it together tonight, and then tomorrow around noon, taking that car i don't care what it takes if i gotta stay up all night to get this turbo switched over which it shouldn't it shouldn't be too bad but uh we're gonna we're definitely gonna drive this car i'm not gonna let her down on her birthday so that's what we got going on right now all right so we got the center section out <laughs> hopefully this one's not leaking I put the turbo that was leaking back on it and the turbo that I <laughs> snapped the stud on. <sighs> that sucks. And then he's barking at a cockroach or something. We're ready for date night, date day, date something. I don't, I don't care. Just, I don't know. Hopefully that turbo works out. If it don't work out, then I guess we're gonna find out tomorrow. You ready for bed? Let's go to bed. Come on, we'll go get buckwheat and let's go to bed. It's still pouring oil out the exhaust and intake side. I was doing a little research. I'm like, there's no way this car's had three turbos on them. They're all leaking. 
the first one, I just thought I had a bad turbo. The second one, I just thought, you know, the seals need to rebuild, but then I damaged that one. So I put this third one on it. Well, the third one's doing the same thing. So I think what the problem is, is when I put the lower drain tube, so you gotta have oil going into the top of the turbo, and then it's gotta drain out the bottom. Well, I made this little thing here, and I think that's the problem. I think it's not draining quick enough and the oil is seeping up and then out the intake side and out the exhaust side. So what I'm gonna do is, I guess go back to the drawing board and I gotta figure out something quick because now it's three o'clock. I had the car running earlier and it was fine. I took it out to wash it and then it started dripping oil. And I've been messing around all morning because I thought the car was ready and now that it's 345, we're leaving in about two hours, the car's leaking. So she says it's all right that we don't take it, but we're still gonna take this car. I'm gonna figure it out. I don't care if I have a water hose running off the back of the turbo into the dipstick tube. And that might be what happens here really soon. So that's what I got going on. All right, so I went ahead and put the camera down just because I had to get something done. I wanted to be on the road by five o'clock. It is now seven o'clock. <laughs> I think I got the the oil situation figured out and uh, I guess I'll show you guys that now what it was real quick was uh, the oil you got an oil feed line and the oil drain line the oil drain line wasn't uh, draining quick enough so it was filling the turbo up and going out the exhaust and the intake side and where I had the oil drain pipe going into the other turbo was pushing oil up that line. So there was no place for the oil to go. And I think I got that fixed now. So this is what I got. A I, mess. Yeah, I got a mess. <laughs> I bet Hannah's like, why don't you put it inside? I'm like, well, I can't now because I took everything apart. But I got some. Uh, well, I also said we don't have to take I the know, car. I know, but that's all you really, that's all you wanted for your birthday was to go on a date in the car. So I at least had to do that. So I got some fittings from Royal King, got them welded to the bottom of the uh, turbo flange. These are from Royal King, some half inch coupler, uh, half inch uh, heater hose from O'Reilly's. And then what I did originally, it's gonna be hard to see. So originally I had it teed into the bottom of the, the, the lower turbo. So I had it teed into it, but the oil was trying to go back up. So it ain't stupid if it works, but I got it. To get us by, I got it stuck into the, the dipstick tube and I got some uh, quick release things in case we gotta check the oil, but uh, that is the dipstick tube with the <laughs> dipstick out of it and then the heater hose is on it. So the oil is draining back into uh, the dipstick tube. Like I said, it ain't stupid if it works, it works. It's gonna get us going. It might be a temporary fix or it might be a forever fix. I don't know, but Less of me talking, let's go get some pizza. Mm -hmm. You ready, homie? I'm ready as I can get. Are those shoes good for walking? Because uh, yeah. you might be walking, I'll I don't be know. be barefoot. Uh, we still got to do a little bit. Those little wires I got to tuck up, but for now it's fine. Comfort is not key here, okay? Yeah. But is it ever in a rat rod? There you go. Here we go. I feel like this is familiar, leaving the driveway and, you know. I did take it on a test drive. It did fairly decent yesterday. But today's a new day, so who knows.
Okay, we made it. The maiden voyage actually worked. The mouse trap made it to Orleans. Uh, Hannah's about to starve, and I'm I'm getting pretty hungry too. So we're gonna go in here and this eat. This place is only open on the days that I work, so my two days off they're closed. So um, I haven't had this pizza in probably what six months. Probably. I am ready. Let's go. We'll be back, little homie. We are back. We are, uh, it's the next day. We're done with the 4-H fair. We're done with Speakeasy and we're done driving the mousetrap for the day. We are on our way to the lake. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. So we are on our way to Patoka. Put the fire out, homie. I'm putting her out. I see you got your uh, sweet patina hat. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love patina. I love sparkly teal calves. And I got this up. She's hooked up. I bet you can't guess who picked out the color for that. Who picked out the color for the boat? You did, obviously. Yeah, right. <laughs> Just like my truck. You picked you for everything. All right, so we got the boat hooked up. We are headed to the lake. But before we can go, we got to stop in here and see my good buddy, John. John and his family just purchased this um, filling station slash convenience store. It's called Lake Time Marine. Uh, they got a convenience store, camper surplus kind of stuff, and they sell campers. So if you're in a, the Patoka Lake area, make sure you check out Lake Time Marine. They got and pizza. you'll never, yeah, I was going to say, you'll never guess yeah. what they got. That's why we're here. I just text John. I was like, hey, can you get me a pizza? I'll be there in 10 minutes. So yeah, we're going to go in here and um, get our pizza, get some drinks. Get some and fuel. Get some fuel. Yep. Forgot about the fuel for the boat. I was more worried about the pizza, but... We're gonna go in here and uh, grab our pizza and off we go again. Let's go, girl. There we are, Lake Time Marine and RV Center. There he is. Is that our pizza? Yeah. He's concentrating. Yeah, he is. I'm a pizza making dude. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. Hello. I, I, was, I was giving you a shout out. Oh yeah? Yeah, I so I'm it. telling everyone to make sure they come see John to get their pizza. <laughs> well, it's not good. <laughs> when we redo the house that you didn't know I want to do? <laughs> yeah, when's this? Look at them bar stools. I'm taking those. <laughs> we finally made it to the lake. That truck sounds good. Um, sounds like our papal stroke we had. But made it to the lake, now we're waiting on my sister. And yeah, don't mind our boat, it's a little ratchet. It's all right. Listen, this is how we get everything. We start out like this, and then we, you know. Yeah. We got the outside fixed up, we wrapped it. And um, the outside looks pretty good. We need to do the interior, but yeah. it don't really match now. Cause the yeah. boat's actually yellow. And the we wrapped it till pretty rough but the thing is yeah all these people say it must be nice when we have nice stuff yeah they don't see what it starts off as it starts off as <laughs> yeah. crap and we make it we get good deals on stuff mm -hmm. and just uh, make it what we want i mean it's how we can afford it yep oh, yeah. introducing haley hannah's twin sister Which there you go do you think haley is me or this one Probably the one that's not talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a <buyer. laughs> I really 
Oh my gosh, I don't know what Hannah's got in this bag. Well, you packed yeah. it. Well, yeah, All but I you didn't need waters and sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. You got 30 waters in this bag and there it's was, heavy. There was not even 30 uh, in the My bag. kayak's gonna sink. It might, you might be doing a, <laughs> you might be doing a willy. The it's whole time. going to, I, this is crazy. <laughs> Are your friends here? Yeah. Oh, I can't even walk to this thing so heavy. Chill out. <laughs> Ugh. So I was in there uh, getting tickets to go kayaking and then I was kind of joking asking if they had any school buses for sale and the lady said, yeah, we're trying to sell all the green school buses actually. Oh, I'll get a video of all this kayaking. Yeah, he's a 
thinks I'm a cave country canoe owner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think? How do you shut it off? Pull your black knob here, probably. I bet it's got manual shut off. No, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah! Well, <laughs> that's why we brought you that's along today. Cool deal. <laughs> Heck yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. Runs good, shifts good. I think we'll take it. Oh. He's inspecting the whole bus for me. <laughs> what do you think? You think we need a bus? It's the right color, so. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. All right, guys. So I had a fantastic weekend. I feel like I haven't worked in a month. Um, I cannot wait to have a normal work week um, starting tomorrow, which is today for you. But I had a great time. Um, of course, Corey asked too many questions and we end up with the bus. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I got some big plans with the bus. I'm going to body swap it with uh, the old GMC 660 down at the end of the driveway. Since it's a bigger truck, I figured it would work perfect for that school bus. Uh, we do, since the mousetrap is done, we do have uh, a lot of projects going on. We got to get the red truck done, the van done, and the yellow, the yellow we guy. We need to finish it. Done. Uh, but we are brewing our own projects as we speak, but we did get a package, so we're going to do that and call it a day. So this is from Harold, and uh, let's see what it is. Hold on, Harold, we're getting there. Harold knows how to wrap, though. Okay. Use caution, may jump out. <laughs> Really? Well, I'm glad you're opening this one. If this is something live, it's dead now because it's been sitting there for a while. Ah. Probably a snake. <laughs> ah. You open it that way. Uh, Not towards me. Just uh, get it over with. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is we awesome. have you a rat. Yes. We got another one that looks just like this. But it's Hannah's for my truck. Viking. Oh my! A giant rat. Yeah. Oh, oh it squeaks. <laughs> oh, you got Minnie's attention. Minnie likes it. You ain't getting a Minnie. We appreciate you, Harold. Thank you so much. That is awesome. We will definitely <laughs> put it in the car somewhere. Absolutely. And um, I guess that's it. I guess uh, we'll see you guys Sunday and Which he Wednesday. did post a video Sunday. Um, that was the first Sunday video. I think we're going to start doing them. Sunday early morning. Yeah, Sunday makes it a little easier on us because you know, like on a Wednesday, I got to upload this video, and then it takes a little bit to get another video out. So Sunday just gives a little bit more time. Yeah. So, all right. I guess uh, until next time. Oh, don't, don't forget yeah. to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> See you guys. Oh. Also, real quick, because I don't remember if he said it or not. We appreciate each and every one of you. Um, thank you so much for following along and for the support. And uh, One more thing. Oh. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys see me. Cave City, Kentucky. I don't, June what? It's the July, 29th. July 29th, Cave City, Kentucky. Shop, shop truck, truck. Shop truck gathering. We will be there. And it is only for shop truck, yeah, or so, well, trucks. It doesn't have to be your shop truck, but. Yeah. So we're gonna take uh, Hannah's Viking and the farm truck and uh, we will see you there. We can't wait to see you guys. So make sure you guys are there. If you guys are in the Kentucky area, that is our next big show that we'll be at, so. And there's swap meet. Oh yeah, there is a swap meet. I better start selling some stuff so I can afford more stuff. Legit bird nest right below you. 
God bless. If there's a bird in there. <laughs> He's going boat with. Is there a bird? If... Is there a bird in there? I think there's something in there. No way. Probably a snake. We'll dig it out and throw it in the water. No. There's eggs. <laughs> Great. The bird's gonna be like, where are my babies? Gotta get a hooey up and down. She gets so embarrassed when I film in public. <laughs> Where are you guys? At? Oh God, Corey. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna make Corey a whole kayak. Hands, I'm trying to. Would Corey? Hold on, hang on. 